back in the day the wildest people did yoga it was meant for that kind of a person who will not accept anybody else's take on life i will not accept somebody else's take i don't want second hand knowledge hence i will explore i am a yogi namaste, namaste. welcome to another edition of meditate with anjan and this is the wisdom series today with me i have an amazing yogi a storehouse of knowledge the founder of total yoga manish pop namaste thank you for joining us manish thanks for having me anjan manish travels around the world giving yoga classes and helping people live better lives he also does teacher training courses and trains people on how to be yoga teachers in the total yoga style total yoga is a unique style of yoga that i co-created about 8 years ago for me fundamentally i used to be a copywriter and i essentially started to train in meditation to become a better writer i was very lucky at 22 that my teacher offered me the opportunity to come and live with him in that sense i'm very old school that uh, yoga and meditation is learned is learned by shadowing a master and i spent about 7 years i thought it would take me 3 years or rather 3 months to learn meditation it took me the best part of 7 years so there is 100 plus total yoga teachers including classes in dubai bangalore pune Uh, the UK, UK, US, US, New Zealand, New Zealand. So I will put his Instagram link here. Make sure you check it out, and you can find Manish Total Yoga on Instagram and on Facebook. So I want to ask Manish about meditation. And as we know in the Vedic text, the yogic text, there's your Japa, Tapa, Dharana, Dhyana, Swarnaya, and multiple other meditation modalities. So, what is meditation to you, and what are your practices? Everything in life, the way I see it, is like this: any and everybody will experience silence at some time in the day. If you're really off, it might happen once a week, might happen once a month. Yoga is how do you game your day so that silence happens when you want it. I'm going to put this in big text. How do you game your day? <laughs> As a yogi, you don't leave anything to chance. If I want to be silent when I want to be silent, I have to look into every aspect from what I eat, the relationships I maintain, everything, how I treat my body, how I treat my mind, everything. Uh so that silence is no more coincidence. If it was a coincidence, then you don't need a science of yoga. then it will just happen and it does happen to all of us just like that you could be sitting at sunset and you're silent you could be spending hours praying and not be silent it happens as a gift it's not a verb you don't meditate it happens but how do you game your day so that it happens when you want it so let's explore this concept of silence because most of us have different definitions of it so let's find out the yogic understanding of what is this silence and how it includes stillness and maybe nothingness essentially what we find is that as you go deeper within there's nothing the only noise is at the periphery whether it's the body even the mind so yoga is precisely defined as an ability to create a certain distance between you and your body and between you and your mind most of us live our entire life based on what our mind is telling us and yoga is not at all about positive thinking it's not about changing the mind it doesn't mind worry about that stuff it is only about finding a space even deeper within to know that even the mind is at the periphery so when that hits you on a daily basis you don't give that stress or that happiness too much significance only silence is there silence is the only thing that heals if we are not able to get it through our own effort then sleep will anyway grant it to us at least once a day true true i think the effect of experiencing that you are the experiencer comes when you game the silence in you when you stop thinking you are the experience or the feelings or the emotions is that what you yeah every time to say at some point the conversation stops and the reason that yoga has worked so much on the body is because you cannot be still without a, see the, the fundamental is that 
there is no such thing as body, mind, emotion, spirit. Correct. In the human being, it's undivided. You cannot do a single thing that is purely physical. In the same way that if you think that you're only doing a mental activity by reading a book, then what are the eyes up to? That's a physicality. You cannot do anything that's purely mental, purely emotional. That division is logical mind dividing you. That doesn't exist in nature. So you cannot train one aspect because that division doesn't exist. So holistically speaking, if I want to be a calm, still mind, the body has to stop shaking. And when that happens, the mind will stop shaking. So it's not me training the body in asana or training the mind in pranayam. They are working concurrently. When he says yoga, I know for a fact he doesn't mean only postures or asana. So most of us, when we've heard, when you hear the word yoga, you think it's just postures. But which is why I think he beautifully created total yoga, which encompasses the mind, body, spirit and other experiences which might not be considered as, you know, traditional asana or practice, right? The modern uh, approach to yoga is quite limited simply because yoga was never meant to be a mainstream phenomenon. It was meant for a person who is wanting to disengage with life itself. Now, it's an ocean of knowledge. You might not have the time to jump in, ride the waves, figure out who you are, but you still can take some water from the bucket and wash yourself daily. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hence, it can be adapted. If it can be adapted, the easiest adaptation is asana. So, once a week, once one, one hour a day, once a week, whatever it is, you can at least do asana to take care. So you are doing yoga, but at the same time, it's the water in the bucket, it's not the ocean. And also, because Manish includes many other things, I know he takes his yogis to dancing, to poetry readings, they came to my martial arts class. Um, would you like to share the ideology behind that? Back in the day, the wildest people did yoga. It was meant for that kind of a person who will not accept anybody else's take on life. I will not accept somebody else's take. I don't want second-hand knowledge. Hence, I will explore. I am a yogi. Now, if that is the fundamental, how do you express the body through martial arts, dance? How do you express the mind, poetry? How do you express every part of you? In the last 50-60 years, we have another ideology of control. Control traditionally doesn't belong to the yoga way of thinking. You express, over a course of a lifetime, control might give you immediate results, you might become disciplined in the next 2-3 months, but it will create a lot of pent up frustration, things that are unexpressed. So, expression will take longer time. Yeah. So, typically, discipline is something that happens automatically, but internally there's a certain wildness. A fire has to be there. If that is not there and you just become a robot, you're very far from yoga actually. I also want to spend a few more moments talking about this gaming of your mind and emotions and feelings so that you stay in a meditative state. A few quick tips practically on how people can actually game and thereby play and thereby uh, decide how they may unfold instead of letting it unfold without their choice. So one of the easiest things to do is to follow the sink of the sun. So if you sleep a little early, you wake up with the sun, already you're attuned to being in a calmer state. If you eat smartly and you don't need anybody to tell you how to eat, you can't be that lazy. You've got to <laughs> figure this out yourself. If you eat right, then your body is not worried or it's not struggling with digestion. If you're struggling with digestion, you cannot be calm. You've wasted six hours. So rather eat that the, what the body is asking for. For the first few hours of the day, even if it's one or two hours, don't turn on the digital sort of uh, stuff. Spend a little bit of time figuring out or taking a few deep breaths. Essentially, take a cold shower that will help, you to help the body to breathe deeper. Uh, do a little bit of a walk. Uh, get about, get a, get a little bit into nature. If you get inspired, your problems will seem in place. If you're not seeing nature, you think that your problems are too huge. Uh, so these things early in the morning really help. Stretch a little bit, the endorphins, the body starts to work differently. Uh, figure out, so all this is fine, but this doesn't work unless you have a long-term vision. Uh, if you're using yoga to be happy, 
and just by doing a few deep breaths and a few stretches it's going to happen no way a human being is designed to be happy only when they are going back to source if you're going back to who you are back to your your source you'll be on that happy journey anything else is a distraction and so causes tension and worry causes tension causes worry if you're not authentic if you're not going back and you cannot fool yourself you can fool anybody else <laughs> you cannot fool yourself and you can tell yourself today that i don't have time the whole year you didn't have time but when you're 17 and you're about to die you cannot tell yourself i didn't have time to figure myself yeah you you won't do it to yourself so take the time and uh, be natural uh, if it means doing something be so natural that uh, you're naturally calm uh it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be difficult if you don't listen to anybody's laws and rules for you you'll be fine exactly so the challenge is how do you not listen or uh, how do you not get influenced by these big books by these world famous speakers uh by these ancient traditions how do you stay natural raw and respect that's beautiful now i'm going to request manish to meditate with me so that uh, i can uh, have him as part of my million meditators challenge and we're going to probably hyperlapse this uh, enjoy watching Thank you so much, Manish, for that amazing meditation, and I wish you all the best with Total Yoga. May you train more teachers, and thank you for being my teacher and sharing with me your immense knowledge and love and warmth. Make sure you check out the other videos, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you like the Wisdom series, if you have any questions for me or for Manish, make sure you leave a comment. Anything you wanted to help people? Before we have fun, be wild, and everything will be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bro.